just to see if he'd have kept that ball in hand and have a go, a real go at Huje, but it's the sort of way England play, kick it through and put him under pressure. Farrell, the carry from Tuolangi, that's the first reverberation coming through the southwest of London. There goes Henry Slade, who was a revelation last oh, week in Dublin. The arm is out from Nigel Owen, so there's a penalty coming. That's Courtney Laws just squeezing the ball back for Ben Youngs. Farrell will send May again. Plop the ball, that's not a great clearance kick, it's not a great exit. England in charge here. Felipe Vernipola hands it on there to Ben Youngs. Here goes to Release! Lopez it was around the bootlaces. George Cruz trucks it up. They're within six metres of the men in white. This time it's Curry. They're edging closer and closer. Real test this for the blue defence. There goes Billy Bernapola. Up against the post. Which way for Ben Youngs. Corny Laws is waiting for it. So too Jamie George. It's back the other way. The space. It's out to Johnny Mann. The minimum requirement being the 10 metre line. Well, France have fallen about five metres short of that. Here's Ben Youngs. On to Billy Vunapola. Maku Vunapola this time. It's not one Vunapola, it's the other. Owen Farrell. Space here for the man from Newcastle. Well, Mark Wilson must have thought he was almost through. Owen Farrell might be. He's taken down by De Meru. There's Ben Youngs. England looking to go in for the kill. Elliot Daly just backpedaling. Goes straight into Yakuba Camera. Out there from Ashton. On to Henry Slade. Pano holds on to him. The sixth phase from England. Here goes Mako. In there to Denver no Bomba. Slade, on to Billy Vunapola. Pickamore makes the tackle. Kyle Sinclair, again it's Pickamore in defensive mode. That was well picked up by Maka Vunapola. No tackle. That was Manu Tuolangi. Mako asking for it again. Lost now, please. Here's Ben Young, it's on to Courtney Laws. Laws, the former Northampton teammate of Louis Pickamore. Here goes Daly. Let it go, Bruce, it's a rack, it's a rack. France are holding Probably on, aren't they, by the nails again. at the moment. They've done well to, to regroup, really, because England, you thought England were going to get another try. It's just the power game, it's the battering game. Quickly, five, move. Marco Vunapola. This the 15th phase. Slade takes the aerial option. Didn't really have enough distance that on it, but I think Parra knocked it on there. The stand through for Mason. It's another one to chase here for May. May. Don't look like they're up for the fight. Apart from one sort of skirmish into England's 22, it's all been England. And here they come again. Just that inside line, whether it's Tua Langi or one of the Vunapola brothers. There's May, this time trying to help out Chris Ashton. Tackle from the breakdown, tackle's made. France making a lot more, obviously. There Move. goes Manor to a lane. Hands away, Luis Blue! Youngs, and to Marco Vunapola. No hands now, please. Well, that was... Uh, he deserves a rest. Does he get the injury there? It's probably his legs. It's so difficult. <laughs> what is he? 19-odd to 18 stone, coming against two 19 stone forwards. And uh, something's got to give. And I think it's probably his knee. But hopefully not too serious. So there is confirmation of that change. Okay, tackle now! Tackle now! 30 points to work. Four minutes gone in the second half yourself. here. Don't touch it. Thank you. Good George mark. Cruz is ready for a carry. Here he goes. Pops it up to Owen Farrell, who meets Lost. Mattia Bastereau. Tom Curry, 
Taku, into Bastro Taku. again. Bastro really is built like one of those big chest freezers, top to bottom, filled with Casale. Here goes Ramos. Well, he turned through about 540 degrees that time, did the young fullback. And he's still in the same place. Again, we've seen that story in the first half, just putting your toe on the ball, keeping the pressure on, keep that line speed up, England. Look with Francais, eventually Parra will have to probably box kick. And Lopez is just moving into position, but Parra does kick himself. And Perez give penalties away, and England are just going to capitalise on it. So here's Jeremy George. Oh, that's stolen. Big hand there of Arthur Aturia. Here goes Pino. That's the first throw that's gone astray today for Jamie George. Release, please. Well, France have to be so right. careful. They like the offload, but sometimes the judgment is suspect. Elliot Daly enjoying himself today, the Wolves fullback. That's Jamie George, the Saracen. Good body position. Farrell, flat pass to Sinclair. Sinclair gets it away, back to Farrell. Here's for Johnny May to chase again. But it's Pino in rather panic fashion, but it's quickly taken by May. And May's confidence and enthusiasm maybe just uh, bubbling over a bit too much there, but they still have it to England. Here's Youngs on to Curry. The sail shark in an arm wrestle there with Bastero. Well, advantage. That wasn't quite. Yeah, blood reversal. Damien Pino is back on. Joe Launchbury there rising high. 44 points to eight. Line has gone pretty well. They've lost one, haven't they? Give it up. To France's two. Penalties conceded the four apiece. Actually, it's. It's a pretty even Stevens on the old uh, fruit machine here with the stats. But it's back, just England's okay. dominance. And been able just to see where to attack France, especially in that first half. There goes Tom Ramos. Pick them all. A couple of the veterans still going strong here, Bastereau yeah. and Pick them all. There's Entomac. A carry from. Jefferson Poirot. Pino fitting it on to Gerardo. Stay on. Off goes Dupont. Sniping around the fringes, but stripped. Daly gets the kick away. So, whoever appointed that was fantastic, and whoever's done some work, Neil Hatley, obviously, is England's uh, scrum coach. That is a fantastic, as the front five will be talking about that all tonight. And there is Antoine Dupont. He'll start next week. Well, he certainly adds the week after. a bit more pace to it for France. Play on, play on, back. We've always known that Jacques Brunel has Move. been a big fan of Morgan Parra, but you do wonder, particularly now into his 30s, whether he okay. really does have the pace to be effective at this level of the game. What have you got to lose? You have absolutely nothing to lose. The other option he will have is Baptiste Serra. Well, he started a bit over November with perhaps Dupont now. coming on in the last half hour, right. but there's no doubt that the majority of France will be calling for Dupont. That was lost forward Run by Jack, Jack Noll. Referee playing an advantage for that. There's Dupont on there to camera. Neat little break there from Ramos onto Lombe. Still 17 minutes to go. Hands away, stay back, right. Okay, and knowing Eddie Jones as we do, Dowie, he will be looking here for a ruthless England finish. He will, like I said, I think they'll have set the clock back to 0-0 zero, zero. at you know, the start of the second half. Good work, thank you. Lost your um, people, and see how back. this half has gone. It's gone pretty well. France have, 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 have responded a little bit. England have made a few changes, but again... To finish strongly would be the thing, and he'll probably come out in the press conference and says we can do better. Once again, play anything risky, they'll just go through the set, set phases, get up, get down, use the exit. Stay back, stay back, stay, please stay. Stay back, stay well, there. There's this continuous hubbub stay that uh, 
around okay. Twickenham at the moment. There's a certain impatience. I think England fans, they want to see it. Well, they've done that and more, haven't they? Can they get 50? That would be a phenomenal achievement. Oh, oh, not gone. Lost forward. Well, that's a sort of lack of precision, which no doubt will irk Eddie Jones. You want the scrum? 